Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Rob. Now, have you ever wanted to do two-zone cooking on your acorn or other Kamado? That's what this video is about. Let's get started. All right, so Kamado grills, we're gonna talk about the acorn in particular here. You know, you have your grate, and then you'll have a heat deflector, which in this one I'm using the, um, uh, it's like a ceramic heat deflector. I'm gonna put this over here. And then you got your charcoal down below. And you could kind of scoot it over to one side and try to do like a two zone thing. But by the time, at least in my head, by the time that comes up here, charcoal is really far down there. And really, is it, is it really going to be, I mean, it's going to be hotter on the one side, yeah. But it's not going to be, you know, like an actual warm spot and a hot spot. So we're going to change that up. All right, what we're going to do, we're going to remove this grate. All right, next, we're gonna use one of these little charcoal baskets. These are the Weber ones. I think they're about $25 or so. You can get them a lot cheaper, I'm sure, on Amazon. Um, I'll put a link down below to this particular one. It comes with a set of two for like $24. We're gonna set that in. And I'll show you bird's eye here in a second. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take this grate. This is a 17 inch grate. Same exact grate that's in the bottom of your Weber kettles, uh, 22 inch. And this fits, see these tabs here? This fits right perfectly on those tabs. So now we've got the charcoal here. It's gonna be nice and close to the grate. And then we'll have our uh, warm side on this side. Let's go ahead and get some charcoal in here and fire it up. All right, I'm gonna let this catch, and then we'll shut it and uh, power it on. Hey, we're all set. Got the temp up to about 350. Let's go ahead and get this guy on. Got a nice tomahawk steak for today. Look at that guy. It's got some salt and pepper on it. All right, so we got our super hot side and our warm side. I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy on like this. Uh, let's go like this. Going to use a probe. About like that. Now we're going to go ahead and let this get up to, I don't know, about 100, 105, 110, something like that. And then we're going to start putting it over the coals directly. All right, we've been going here for uh, about an hour or so. Actually, I got wrapped up in something from work, and internal temp's about 120. So we want it between like 130, 140 for like medium rare. So we're gonna go ahead and plop this guy in the coals, but not as long as I was going to before. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, it's looking pretty good. Go ahead and get this guy right over the coals. We'll give him a couple minutes like that. It's been about two minutes. Let's see what we got going. It's getting there.
It's been about a minute or so. All right, move him back over here, take his temp. They're at 130.8. Let's go ahead and let this guy rest for about 20 minutes. Well, it's been resting about 20, 25 minutes. I'm ready to cut into this thing. It smells awesome. All right, look at this thing. First thing we're going to do is cut this right off, kind of right off. I'm just going to cut it, some nice slices here. that. Maybe this one's a little better. Man, it smells so good. All right, I'm going to cut a little piece here. Take a bite. Oh, so good. I know some people like um, putting like fancy rubs and stuff on, but salt and pepper for me. Mm. So I'll put the links down below for that 17 inch grate and also for those, uh, those Weber um, charcoal baskets. And, uh, you know, you don't have to get those. You can get whatever you want. One cool thing, too, you can get a, uh, if you get that 17-inch grate, then you get like a 16-inch uh, pizza pan. Put that on top of that. Then you have an even bigger heat deflector than you would with the, uh, like the smoke and stone or the, um, the regular heat deflector that comes with either the auto um, or, you know, whatever you want. So, yeah, this is amazing. I'm going to eat this. And, uh. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Give me a thumbs up, really helps the channel. Or a thumbs down, either way. As long as you do something. And we'll see you in the next one. So good.